Let me go and flip it. Okay, here <laughs> no, we go. No, now I can. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Oops. Ah, hey, there you are. You? <gasps> no. Hi. Is it time to dance? Oh, no. Vinny. Oh, oh my God. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry, we're running a little bit late, but here we are. Here we are. Let me put the apron on. Mmm, I can smell the oil. Can you smell the oil burning? <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are making zippoli or zeppole, calabrese. Any calabrese watching, we are on Instagram, we are on Facebook and we are on YouTube. Is anyone from Calabria watching? I want to know, guys, what do you call it? Zippoli, zippoli, zeppole? Today we are making this uh, party food from the region of Calabria. I am not from Calabria, I am from Abruzzo. But I am married to Suzanne who is originally from Calabria, third generation Calabrese. Hey, Suzanne? I sure am. So when I came to Australia, I met Suzanne, I was introduced to the family, and they introduced me to this wonderful, how do I call it, like treat? Savory uh, delicacy. Yeah, savory delicacy. And there are different ways to make it. Like Suzanne's father, uh, he makes it with potatoes, okay? But today I show you then we can make it without potatoes. And we got the recipe from Suzanne's cousin from Canberra, Maria. At a lot to Ciao, lot the, the Genovese family in Canberra. Very easy. We just need flour. We need flour. And I'm using, it's just for Suzanne and I, okay? So we use one kilo of flour. Because <laughs> it's just for us. That's probably Look, still going to make about at least 30. We make extra. We bring it to the friends next door, you know? Of course, we're not going to go and add them or. No, we just leave a tray at the front. Leave a tray outside. Um, but you can make two kilos, three kilos, which um, it's very, you know, it's very easy to manage. It's all about feeling, okay? All about feeling. So, so Deborah's on from Perth. You've got Chelsea on from Me Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Como estas, Mexico? Dudleen, I think my maybe um, father's side is Calabrese. Okay. And Joyce says hi from New Jersey. Hello, guys. Gina said a mum is Calabrian and dad is Abruzzese. Oh, well, so that's like us. So it's That's like what our say. baby will be. Say, and I love this. I mean, I love it, Zippoli. Now, let's take off your rings, okay? Before we start. I'm taking off my... Oh, it doesn't come off. Oh, Diana's gorgeous. She said, you guys seriously keep me sane through this tough time. Thanks so much for taking the time oh. to teach us the best Italian ways to cook. That's David so says, ciao. Philip's from Montreal. Kathy's excited. Well, everyone said they're the Paris best. Today. Well, uh, Patty said her grandma put anchovies in. We're putting anchovies in too. Yeah, we are. Show you what we do. New York, do we have, Niagara Falls, we, more New York, do Houston. Do we have more Calabrese on Instagram? They want to join the video? Maybe have a look. Um, let me have a look. Okay, the ring doesn't come off, but make sure you take oh, off good. the ring. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, Suzanne, have you put on? Have that. you put on weight since the pregnancy? I did, but also <laughs> since the ring doesn't come off, guys. What do we do? Can you help me, Suzanne? What's happening? Maybe need some oil. That's what we do. <laughs> Put some extra virgin olive oil on your finger. <laughs> I mean, this is not a simple video anymore. Should work now. Let's have a look. See, it came off. Oh, Vicky's online. Vicky da Luxemburgo. Hello, Luxemburgo. Oh, Gabrielle That's from Toronto. Cool. Jim from Dallas. Attila from Miami. So basically, Canadians are taking over today. Alfredo from Australia, from Australia. Queen Bien. So far, we have Canadians taking Ooh, over. Oh, lots, of, uh, lots uh, uh, from uh, everywhere. We turn the light on. We've got Canadians oh, everywhere. Oh, Marie said she was going to look for this recipe today. So there you go. Here we go. I've got the recipe on vincenzosplate.com and I already have the recipe also on YouTube, okay? You can switch up. So basically, um, what you need to do is to search for Vincenzo's plate, Zippoli or Zeppoli recipe. That's it's written there. Now, um, I made the dough already so I can show you how has to look because the dough needs to ri rise. Rise, yeah. Rise for about one hour at least or two. Whoops. See? Let me That's show one you. kilo and it rise. It needs to be a little bit sticky. See? It's yeah, it's sticky. risen. Whoop. Yeah, it did, it did. So make sure you cover it. And uh, that's what we're gonna do with zippoli wheat. And I also made pasta, guys. Look, I made some um, cavatelli pasta. The video is coming out soon. Look how beautiful this pasta is. Made I with semolina and water. So, now, guys, I am very stressed today because I have the responsibility to make calabrese <laughs> zippoli. And I'm from Abruzzo, so big responsibility, darling. Now, let's see how we go here. Now, first thing we want to do, which is what Maria always taught me, are you here? Let me no, no, you. just leave them, Which thanks. Maria always taught me, which is Suzanne's cousin, you first want to work out the yeast, okay? So, because I'm using one 
kilo of flour. One kilo of flour is 35 ounces. I'm using two cups of warm water. Why do we use warm water, Suzanne? Um, because doesn't it help the flour to dissolve quicker? I guess it's Like it's easier, but it smooths it out. Well, I'm not going to you need to tell me. Yeah. So we do two cups, oh, <laughs> drop the water. We do two <laughs> cups here, two cups inside a bowl. Try to get a large bowl, okay? I've got a few people from Niagara Falls. Gilberto's a... from Brazil. You've been to Zen. You've got family in Canada, Zen. So Hugo you... is from Montreal. Yeah, you've been to Montreal. I have, you? it's beautiful. You lived in Toronto. I lived in Toronto. You went to Niagara Falls. Oh, I did go to Niagara Falls, yeah. I went to university in Toronto. Hi, all my friends in do Canada. Do we have hardcore calabrese on Instagram? No. no, not yet, okay. So here's what we do, guys. Before we put the yeast, this is something I learned from pizza chefs, okay? Nonna doesn't do this. You, before you put the yeast and the salt and everything else, you need to add a little bit of flour into the water, simply because the flour it's, it's going to be eaten by the yeast. The yeast, when it's in touch with the water, um, it needs to eat something. You need to feed the yeast. Make sense what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what pizza chefs do. So, let's break some yeast in the mix. <laughs> Jane said, grande compasse calabrese nel cuore. Si, sí, ma si, sí, grande calabria. Le zippuri calabrese mi piacciono. I'm just going to clean out one of these screens because I feel like Facebook's are getting a little bit fuzzy. And let me get a little bit of salt here. Okay. Yeah, you can go and get the, my sunglasses uh, thing and clean the lens. Can you guys see a problem? Can, can everyone on Facebook just let me know? Can you guys see okay? My sunglass case. Now what I do, I've got the yeast in here. I'm going to put the yeast and the yeast is going to uh, eat the flour. And it's one sachet of yeast. This is dry yeast that you can use for pizza, for bread, and I just put it inside, the whole thing. So if you're making three kilos of flour, you use three sachets of yeast, okay? If you're making five kilos of flour, then you use five sachets of yeast. Sorry, Facebook. And here we go. Is that better? Is it better? I can see perfect with my bad eyesight. Thanks, David. <laughs> <laughs> look at the yeast. What's oh, happening. it's a bit fuzzy. Okay, Diana, can you let me know if that looks better now? It should look much better now. Sorry, we had a dramatic morning. <laughs> Together with the yeast now, what I want to do, I want to add one, ni one nice big spoon of salt. And it's just table salt, okay? One spoon of salt. Thanks, Diana. And with the flour, okay? Now, what do we need to do now? We need to wait a little bit for the yeast to activate, okay? We want to activate the yeast. But one more thing we need to do, we need to add some extra virgin olive oil. And this is something that you must do. Extra virgin olive oil. If you have calabrese extra virgin olive oil, even better. We put two big spoons in there. And what that's going to happen now, when we see the bubbles in the oil, it means that the, the yeast is ready, it's activated. It does it pretty quickly though, doesn't it? Does it? Because it you're quickly, using yeah. a fair bit of um, a fair bit of yeast. That's right. So now we cover this so we keep it warm. Now I want to remind you guys, I'm not from Calabria, I'm from Abruzzo. I'm <laughs> in love with a Calabrese girl. Uh, I love Calabrese food. You need to understand everywhere you go in Italy, from city to city, from family to family, from village to village, recipes are different, okay? So you probably, some calabrese I know, they grow up eating zippoli uh, with the same mix, but you also add potatoes. Yeah, that's right. It makes it a little bit fluffier. That's what it does. Yeah, yeah. But so these, these zippoli are still fluffy, but they're a little bit more dense, the texture inside, you'll notice. But the taste is the same. Because the, the potato doesn't add to the flavor, it adds to the texture. So and to be honest, they're a bit heavier with potato as well. So and they're already quite heavy. You can eat more of this, see? See? <laughs> Calabrese are in the house, Mr. Italian I'm guy. You have oh. had a few. I'm just going to read a few more questions before I come in. You've had a few more questions because a few people are asking, which was what we were discussing, whether the salt kills the yeast. You've had a few yes, people ask yes, you that. Yes, it does. Yeah. So the salt kills the yeast. That's the reason why I I added some extra flour before I put the yeast inside. So water, a little bit of flour. Then you put the yeast inside, so when you put the yeast, the yeast has food to bite, to eat. And then you put the uh, salt. 
I learned this from my pizza chef friends. Yeah, because so I did a pizza chef, a pizza series coming out on YouTube soon. So, but yeah, I have yeah, to that. say that Cugina Maria yeah. doesn't do the flour, no. and it still works. Still works. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think because you're using so much yeast in the ratio to salt, you're okay. Yeah, oh my gosh, because... Romina and Dante say hello. Oh, Dante, Romina. Come and have a look at the ingredients today, okay? This okay. is what we're doing today. Show me, show me, show me. This is what we're prepared as ingredients. So and what are we making today? We are making the classic zeppole or zeppoli calabresi. Calabresi. And here we have the anchovies, okay? Which the we classic. don't normally like, you and I. No, I actually don't like anchovies. But, but I love them in zeppoli. Yeah, they're delicious. <laughs> so we have beautiful anchovies in olive oil. And, and then what we do, we're going to put basil and, and anchovy in one. We're gonna make one, a cheesy one. I've got dry mozzarella here, which is gonna be delicious. I've got, I can make a caprese too. Dry mozzarella, some fresh tomatoes and basil. And we're also going to make a sweet one. So we have some raisin, and then once it's full, we'll put raisin inside, and once it's frozen, um, fried, frozen. Fr fried Oops, sorry. we're going to add inside, so we're gonna uh, spring, not spring, what do you say? Put some um, I like what, I like watching you. Honey and icing sugar. Yeah. You've okay. got lots of pressure, lots of calabrese watching you, they said. Guys, I have, I have, I'm under pressure right now. <laughs> I understand. feel like I'm under pressure. <laughs> the reason why we started the live a bit If late, we get this wrong, even I'm in trouble. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> the reason why we started the live, a bit the live a bit late is because I was stressed. I was. So, here, look at the bubbles. See the bubbles there? Eh? Look how fast it was. See the bubbles? We created Let me have a look. bubbles here. So, Show me. Basically, we're yep. ready to go. Yeah, it does it pretty quickly. It is quick. It is Unless, quick. and just make sure you're not in a cold environment. That's right. Just, yeah. This is what quick. we need to do now, we add the, now it's the time to get your hands dirty. It's going to be very sticky, this dough, okay? Sticky dough. What you want yeah, to do. Yeah, super sticky. You want to add the flour a little bit at a time. Okay, let's put maybe half the packet now. <laughs> Maria, Maria Timpano said, you're doing well so far. Thank so you, she's, Maria. she's definitely watching. Look at this. Let me just do it thing. like this because it's better for yeah. me. That's better. See, I do this, look how sticky it is. I use one hand for now. And again, I want to say thanks to Maria Gen um, Gelonesi from uh, Canberra, which is our cousin with the family, Tony, Vince, Joe, to the Gelonesi family. Thank you so much for making this. Thanks to you. Sending lots of hugs to Canberra. So as you can see, I'm putting uh, the flour a little bit at a time. See that? And this way I can manage the dough and I can make sure the flour melts properly in the water. I'm using two cups of water, okay? And the and water's warm. The water is warm. It's not lukewarm, it's a little bit warmer than lukewarm. It's from the top, from the top. But okay? just from the top, yeah. As you can see, Whoops, adding, sorry, Facebook. I'm adding this, the, I can speak. The, What's wrong? <laughs> uh, the flour a little bit at a time. So it's easier to work the dough. Now, when do we know if we need to add more water? Well, we know when, if the dough is too dry, then you know you need to add more water. But as you can see, the dough is not dry. You just need to work it out. Do you want to do it too, Suzanne? Um, I like, uh, do you want me to hold the bowl for you? Maybe what you can do, you can, no, no. Maybe you, what you can do, you can come in the video soon and make some zippoli. Yeah, I'll, I'll help oh. you fry them. Well, I, li I like watching you, but oh. I'll help you fry them. Oh, we are going to use one kilo. Anyone wants to say any, anyone has any recommendation? Guys, please, this is the second time I'm making Zippoli, okay? I, I'm a brute say the pressure is on. I want to know from you if you have any advice, eh? any anything you want to share with us, please. Let oh. us know because we can always improve. Giovanni said hi from Queensland. Queensland. Ciao, Giovanni. Yeah. Please tell me, how do your mom make your calabrese at Zippoli? Let us know. Yeah, do you guys make it with potatoes? That's all we want to know. Look. Oh, Diana suggested wearing gloves. Well, to be yeah. honest, it's a bit uncomfortable wearing gloves because it gets so sticky. It gets very sticky. Um, so just make sure your hands are super clean and you're making it in the family. So that's it's right, okay. That's right. yeah. This is a family food. This is not something you actually find in the restaurant. And you don't need gloves. It'd be cool if we could um, have these in restaurants. Look, you want food. <laughs> My you, want, you want to touch the food with your hands. JJ San Severino said, My recommendation is let's drink vino. Vino? <laughs> I've got plenty of water. I bought a bowl last night. All right, let's see how we look at this. Look at the dough. See, I've got a little bit of flour on the outside. The dough is actually coming out good, so then look. Let me have a look. So, for one kilo of flour, what Gina Maria says that you need to use about three cups of water. 
So until now, we only used one cup of water, but to then, it looks like we need to add another cup of water. Okay, can you maybe help me to get the water? Yeah, I can. Hang on one sec. Let me just position because you. It is a bit dry, okay? So we do need to get... Just put the bowl dry. forward so our friends can see. So we need That's to, better. We do need a little bit more water because... That's a Have you got some in here? Yeah. Let's get a cup. An extra cup. Beautiful. Actually, let, 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 let's not put the whole thing. Let's just okay. put half for now. Put half. Vincenzo, my mum made them and always bought some from the Italian bakery on St. Joseph's Day every year before her passing last November. Oh, this sorry. reminds me of my mum. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, these um, these are the savoury zippoli, though, David. The, did you have – because the ones on St. Joseph's Day are normally the sweet ones. No, the sweet ones. Yeah. Yes. They but come from the area they, of Naples. And yeah, the, yeah. So I'm not sure which ones they are. Sorry to hear, though, about your mum. He's talking about we, the one with the sherry on top. Yeah, the maybe. Zippoli, maybe. Zippoli, sweet zeppoli, which is what I grew up with. Yeah, man. yeah. I grew up eating them. And for me, zeppoli, that's what it is. So I'm like, yeah, hey, see, lots when of, I heard zeppoli at the beginning, I said, oh, but yeah, you thought sweet. that as well. But look yeah. at look at all these gorgeous followers that you've got telling you that Rosemary, Marie, and Catherine, all their parents are from Reggio, yeah. and they put potato in it as well. Like, like my dad. My dad's the same. So your cousin, where are they from? So your family is from Reggio. Calabria, well, they're all from Reggio, yeah. And from However, Giosa Marina, look, so from Giosa Marina, Rochella, yeah. Dore. Where are you guys from in Calabria? And where is uh, Maria's from? I think they are from. Are they from Bianco? I'm um, not sure actually. So look what's happening here. David's, Maria. yes, he loved them. I'm sorry. No, don't be silly, David. This is a different version of Tipu, but they both have, they do have the same name. <laughs> Just to confuse they do, everyone. They do. And I, I like you, David. I was confused when I first. Absolutely, said David. Try it. He said he's going to try it this weekend. Look at this. Now, Maria, cousin Maria, she always likes to punt. Can you see it, it is sticky? But don't be don't be scared because it has to be sticky. But this is when actually, you actually yeah, you can probably have a tiny bit more water in there. It's got to make that yeah, funny a little noise. bit more. This Just is a little bit. Thank you, teacher. This is where you actually want to have want to release your stress. That's when you want to punch it. Oh, there's another couple of questions. You've been asked a couple of times. Um, their family recipes have sugar in the yeast, not salt. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, maybe that's for the I, sweet one. I guess it's for the sweet one. I mean, you can always add sugar later when you actually make the sweet one. With the same dough, we can make savory and sweet. This is what I learned from the family, okay? But again, every family is different. As you can see, Suzanne is sticky enough. I'm not going to put any more water, but I've got more flour here to add, Suzanne. So... Oh, it's that's probably a lot of flour. It is a lot of flour, but yeah. it means I can put more water okay. after, you know? <laughs> you just need to fill it. Okay. Tarianova e Varipo Varipodo in Calabria, is it? Ah, I've never been there. Oh, wow. That's so funny. You've got two people in a row from the same place. Oh, Conchetta wow. Conchetta said her mum uses potato and she's from Tarianova as well. Interesting. Leanne's family puts the potatoes in there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, see? It's like yeah, your family. Because, see, um, Tina said because sugar obviously helps to activate the yeast. Right. Yeah, but we, even though traditional, well, not traditionally, it's a fact that salt um, kills the yeast. Yeah. We, we actually do it that way, but add the flour to help with well, it. Well, it's just something so, I learned from pizza chefs, and they're like scientists with flour. So I said to myself, you know what, I prefer to follow the pizza chef's technique using the yeast because they know more than us, you know. But my grandmother's been making pizza all her life, and she always put the yeast with water and salt. And the pizza is still nice. So Carol said um, her brother-in-law is from Calabria. Yes. And he promised he, he promised her that he was going to teach her this recipe and his yeah. mum would make back in February. But then the coronavirus happened. Ah. So she's very happy to be online with us. And now you can do it with us. Look. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 well look. done, Marina. She said Calabrese families find any holiday excuse to make them. Her parents are from Gioza well, as well. Fact, and no potatoes in her tip pulley. See? Only potatoes. Yeah, someone else. Kids. Like but that's us. so funny because she's from Gioza as well. Again, every family is different, Suzanne. That's the beauty of Italian culture, guys. If you go to Naples, they don't do this. You come to Abruzzo, where I'm from, we don't do this. You do in Calabria, we go in Calabria, they do this. I think the north of Calabria don't even do this. I think only the south part of Calabria, which is very, very interesting, okay? So Italy, Italian culture is incredible. Now, look at the dough. It's ready. Very sticky, and this is nice. Can't wait to... <laughs> Show me. Look at that. 
sticky and this is the dough guys see it is sticky yes it's got to be sticky not yeah. so stick not too sticky that it doesn't come off your hand that's right but just sticky enough yeah and what we're going to do we are going to cover this with some um some but you can come and do it then do what am i doing I'm hang this. on i wash my hands all right i'm coming you can come is there a coming into the video guys are you ready oh this is For a good the one first time to send coming into the video is there a difference between tipoli and tepoli Good well, hey, to say this in the video for the first time ever, can you believe it? Say hello to Suzanne and say hello to everyone. Hi, everyone. My pregnant wife. Yes. <laughs> oh, let me give you a carezza. <laughs> now, guys. Do you want me, can I cover this? Please, give me a round of applause, Suzanne. A comment, a round of applause <laughs> to Susie. You covered this and tell everyone what you cover. Okay, so we have to cover this now and keep it in a um, pretty warm spot. It doesn't have to be hot. It just a like room temperature, just as long as it's not cold. And the reason is because um, in order for the yeast to properly activate and for this to rise, it's best that it's kept in a um, a nice kind of uh, nice warmer temperature. If you put it somewhere that's cold, it's very likely that it won't rise. So remember that. Um, just put the glad wrap on top, and I will not. I would normally cover it with something else as well. Are we covering with a plate, or maybe like a tea towel? Yeah, is a good idea. Um, and actually, it already feels nice and warm because of the water that you put in it. Yeah, you cover that. Cover this. I will put this Suzanne. To the side. Can you please write a comment? I want Suzanne to do video with mm -hmm. us. Videos. She's an amazing uh, banana bread maker. <laughs> so who wants That's a banana not very bread? Exciting. recipe? Now here it is. We have the oh, dough. Wow. Look the how amazing much I was going to say something, but oh, we'll go. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look, see, it is a bit sticky. You need a little, um, do you want to use this one for the oil? No, I think I made a mistake to put the plastic right on top of it. Yeah, don't, you basically, don't when you put the plastic, it okay. look how much it don't comes off. touch the dough with the plastic. It's okay. It Just comes make sure, yeah, it's kind of okay. Yeah, see, it should be sticky. I don't know if you can all see. It should be sticky so that a little bit will sort of start to stick to your hands, but it comes, it comes right off. Came really nice. Look, wow, look at that. Look how nice this came. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Guys, Suzanne took over, so she's going to press no, the No, I didn't. Yeah, see? But only a tiny bit stuck on my hand. So that's perfect. That's a good sign. Um, we need some oil in a little bowl. Yes. All right, Suzanne took over. Suzanne, well, tell, show I us. I ran away. Yeah. She, she ran away. Yeah, I'm coming. So we need to put this in here. I don't need Okay, we have a question. Oh, the Italian guy, Giovanni, is asking, what's the difference between Zippoli and Zippoli? Oh, allora, yeah, sorry. I asked allora. the question and then I walked away. In the real Calabrese, no dialect, la Calabrese word is Zeppole. Zeppole Calabrese is this one. But also, uh, yeah, perfect. But also, in dialect, you say Zippoli, Zippoli. Okay? But in actually Calabrese, it's Zeppole. But, and these are the savory ones. But also, there are Zeppole in the center of Italy and in some part of the south where we have sweet zeppole, which is a pastry with Italian custard on top and the cherry. I'm sure you've seen that. That's for San Joseph. That's what David was talking about. So Zane, exactly. So Zane's got the ingredients. Come here, let's show the ingredients. Yeah. So Zane's got some, we have some um, you. Do you the leave dough this the and the yeah. extra virgin olive oil that you want to put on top of the dough. And so then it's going to show you why. Yeah. Well, it's important to use that so um, so that the... Oh, do you want to, can we put this in? Yeah. Put the dough here. Put it there. All right. Now, how's that oil going, firstly? Oh, the oil is very hot. Okay. Oh, because it's going to be too hot. Yeah. So, yeah, look, fine. you can use... Traditionally, we just used to put anchovies in our chicoli. However, you know, over time, things change. And we can obviously experiment. It's also a bit of a tricky time to get yourself to the shops. If you don't have anchovies, you might have some cheese. Um, as long as it's a dry mozzarella is best, but just a nice cheese that melts is perfect. Like a provolone. Um, but if, even if you have, I don't know, like maybe a Swiss cheese or something, because that's all you have in the house, it will work. Because um, as soon as it hits that oil... It'll heat up inside. That's right. Why that's you right. need to make sure it's perfectly covered. I'm just going to cut. Hey, up Suzanne, one. we got Tony, Tony Gelonesi watching from Canberra. Oh no, I'm so nervous now. Tony, this is your mum's recipe. So Tony was our um, tipoli turner, and he's made many a tipoli. In oh his yes. Life. And so this recipe is his mum's recipe. So thanks, Tony. So what do I want to know? Uh, we got people asking, what's the water and flour ratio? Okay, so I use one okay, kilo of flour. 
for three cups of water, two and a half cups of water, and actually I didn't use one kilo of flour, I use a bit less, but Just a little bit about less. 800 grams, yeah. But if you use one kilo, you need three cups of water. So let's say one kilo, three cups of water, I'm and one about sachet the first of it. One now that's uh, that's why I'm recording. What are you doing over I don't there? want to take responsibility. We need everything Maria a little Maria Gironese is the queen. We need everything a little bit closer though, don't you? All right, you, what you do? So you I'll put get a it, set of tongs. So I've you? got the tongs here, I've got the oh, tongs got here. Tongs. Yeah, they're organized. <laughs> so put the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on top there. Yep, so you put it on there, and I like to put a little bit on my hands um, because I, I, always, I think that it'll all, all end up sticking otherwise. Am I really going to make the first one? Yeah. Actually, did you, you check the oil? The already? oil is hot. Okay. So we've got the oil there at about 100 and, 160, 170. It's going to be, it's got to be um, hot for frying. Yeah, yeah, bravo. Oh, dear. So you pull it up. We don't take too much, eh? Show don't me. take too much at the moment. And you sort of flatten it just a little bit. And see how it's not sticking too much at the moment to my hands because I've got a fair bit of oil on my hands. You do. I've probably got a bit too much oil on my hands. But I'm going to make anchovy, just a plain one, the traditional way with anchovy first. So you pop it inside. Put the basil? No, this just this is the traditional way. Oh, just Maria put the basil. No, no, that was after. The okay. traditional way, you just put anchovy on it. Yeah, I'm trying to be more calabrese than you. Mr. Italian guide, help me out over here. Any calabrese, help me out. <laughs> and you make sure you twist. So I'm not great at this, um, but the trick is keep twisting until all of it's covered. See how it's got a little opening there? Make sure you kind of twist it around. It is I hard to twist. Probably could have got a little bit more um, of the of the impasto, but it's twisted now, and then you drop it in. Can you see? Fry. Yeah, I can see. And it's frying. Definitely hot in there. All right, let's go and have a look. All right, you go in there. And see, see, it is hot. It you is go in there and see if see if I've met the challenge. I'm a little bit nervous. Now, in terms of cooking, we have to I'm, ask this to Tony Gelonesi. You're watching Tony. How long do you cook this for, Tony Gelonesi? I'm You're watching on Facebook. Do you normally take about a minute or two? Actually, it's fast. Look how fast now, it is. Is now a good time for me to admit that I've always had a supervisor that was very professional? My dad, or Maria, or Serena. Um, this one I'm doing like this. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, maybe so we'll more. put maybe, should I put some cheese? Yeah. And show you? Guys, sorry, I'm reading comments from everywhere. I'm reading comments from Facebook, from YouTube, from Instagram. We are live on three different <laughs> now platforms right now. my job. <laughs> we are live on three different platforms. Absolutely. You're actually pretty good, Susan, I have to say. Is this your first make time sure you make it? Make sure you cover everything up as much as you can. This one, hopefully they don't split. I've got a little hole there that I'm going to cover up. Hey, Tony Gelonesi from Canberra, the Gelonesi family. Mm -hmm. Are you approving this? This is your recipe. So you can make them, um, some people make them a little bit more round. I quite like this shape um, because it just reminds me of when I was growing up. We used yeah. to make it, Dad made it like that, Nonna made it like that. Um, we'll make a caprese. Yeah, but before you make it, can you get a, a, paper, a paper towel and a, and a plate? <laughs> sure, mm. I can touch the kitchen with my oily hand. <laughs> Yay. Um, this is cooked. Oh, see, this one is bigger, Suzanne, the one you made, Sagan. Yeah, I made it. Very I puffy. I love that. Yeah, I like it. The first time I made it, I made um, like a rosetta bread shape. It was big, remember? It was huge. <laughs> I yeah, love doing this. Yum. All right, this is ready. First one is ready. Is Look. that ready? Uh, give it another... A little bit more. Just cook Ooh. it like 10 odd seconds. Okay, a little just bit more. Just because you want to make sure that it's really well cooked inside. Okay. And turn that other one. See how you can see it started to go golden at the bottom there? Turn that one. Okay. Tony Gelonesi said, beautiful. Thank you. So About so three to four minutes said. Okay, so Tony Gelonesi said yeah. to cook Your, it for three, four minutes. Our oil is quite hot, so that's why I'm nervous it's not cooked inside. And I'm using um, vegetable oil, okay? I'm sure in the old days, the Calabrian families in Calabria, they used to use extra virgin olive oil. But now extra virgin olive oil is so expensive and I don't believe many people are using extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I'm going to make a few more. And you can so cook in extra oil virgin olive oil. You actually can fry in extra virgin olive oil. As long as you only fry once, you don't reuse it. But we're using vegetables. I want you to come and try it. You okay with that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, good. so you're making a caprese I'm now. I'm going to make a caprese now which is um, actually something that Vincenzo really likes to make. So he made it when we were with our beautiful cousins in Canberra um, over Christmas this year when we were able to travel. Um, so what do I put first, maestro? Cheese? Ah, I will go for or cheese. Basil? You have to remember that the tomatoes are a bit wet, so That's you can't okay. put too much. That's right, I'll cover it Yeah, up. put the cheese first. Cheese first. So we put cheese. Yes. Tomato next. Ciao to all my friends on YouTube. Ciao. Ciao, Michael. Ciao, everyone. Eyeball. Tomato. Everyone is watching. Ciao, Iris. 
Provolone. Oh yeah, you need some yeah, provolone. Yeah, you can use provolone if you. Um, when I say hello to my friend. It, and then you fold it up. Okay, that's a, that's a bit more challenging. This one, I have to say. Fold it in. So once you've put the ingredients in the middle, fold it in and then twist around it, and it should stay closed. Fine. It's quite sticky, so it should stay closed. If Giovanni nervous, from Italian Guide said you're doing a one. great job, Suzanne. Grazie, amico mio. Suzanne's plate. <laughs> All right, but now I want you to try that one. All right. So I come in the video. Make some more with anchovies because that's what I feel like. Today. People are lo loving to watch you, Suzanne. <laughs> Tony Gelonesi said, "Now I'm hungry. Well done." <laughs> Um, you've forgotten your job. Mr. It's Suzanne Italian. Yes, Mike. She's Calabrese. Third generation Calabrese. Yes. Born exactly. in Sydney. So born in Sydney. Um, and now I feel like I'm, I have to admit um, that I feel like I'm kind of half Abruzzese, half Calabrese now because I've Ooh. spent a lot of time in Abruzzo, fallen in love with it and Vincenzo's family, Ooh. of course. So, yeah, I, and I think you probably feel the same. I do, I do. Yeah. Like, in fact, Easter, we're making Calabrese food. Absolutely. You know, and that's there Italy. Italy is... So fold it in, all the ingredients, that's, and then twist on your end. That's a much better one, Suzanne. Well, I'm that's, getting That's better. a very good one. Look how good it is. <laughs> I'm used to all of the professionals being around me. Look I normally good it just is. help. Okay, drop it in. Now, come over before this gets cold. You try it for you, mate. You have to try wait, it. Wait, we'll eat it together. No, no, I want you to try I it. I want to open it together. Open it, though. show us. Abruzzo, Abruzzese oh, by injection. Nice oily, <laughs> uh, Michael said Abruzzese by okay, injection. Okay, ready? Can you see there? Oh, oh, Good oh bread. is it cooked? Is it cooked? Is it cooked? Good bread. I'm so nervous. Oh, there's your anchovy. Good bread. Yum. Show me. Yeah. Well done. steam coming up. Yeah. Well, they look like they can. Should I eat it? Of course you have to eat it. <laughs> Who else wants to come and eat it with Suzanne? Mmm, they're kind of amazing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Breathe of excitement. Look how good they came. And look at that um, dough. It's good, eh? Show me the dough inside. I'm Show gonna, me. Come closer to the cameras. I'm going to eat while you. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming you. How does it other feel like being oh, filmed? So I'm just hungry. Look. I don't normally come into the videos because I get really nervous, but I'm pregnant and hungry. <laughs> and I decided to make zippoli, so I'm going to eat them. Can you show us your belly, please? Mm. Who wants to see Suzanne's belly? Look. Got a little belly there. Well, it's not little anymore. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Oh, you have to try it, Vincenzo. All right, let me come in the video. Let me finish to cook this one here. Oh my gosh. I think the other one is the caprese, is it? Um, the second one I made was a anchovy with basil. Okay, anchovy with basil. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. What's happening there? Mm. You see that? Mm, I can see that. Oh, that beautiful steam coming up. So the best way to eat it is hot, which is why I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and probably the reason I chose to come in this video. Yum. Mm. Well, this is a great, great way for you mm. to start recording yourself then to do to do video recipes. Oh, yeah. Starting with a traditional Calabrese recipe. I have to wash my hands and I'm going to make them. Thank I'm you, Maria Timpano said that. Uh, I pissed uh, Bonavasqua. Anchovies and olives are, are the best. Anchovies Ooh. and olives. Oh That's what Giovanni from the Italian Guide you know said. I'm going to get, Giovanni, hang on. Let me wash my hands. I'm going to get some. I've got Dad's Calabrese green squashed olives. Hang on. All right, in the meantime, I take over. Yes, let's take over. Okay, let me make one. So, let's see if an Abruzzese can do it. Wet your hands. Yeah, I'm making them in that. Get a dough. Uh, we made a lot of doses, man. One kilo is a lot for the two of us. But guess what we're having for lunch, dinner, and breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> So here what I do, I, I want to open it up like a pizza. I'm going to get those olives out. So let's try and keep it wet. I think I use a big, <laughs> sneaky, big sneaky. piece. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. You don't flatten it like that, I'm you a just big stretch boy. it. Oh my just God, I never do the right thing. It's hey, kind of braised it and all, but this is when I'm... See, look at these lot. olives. Oh, it's a big boy, I have big hands. So what I do now, I put basil, put basil, this is from the garden. Then I put cheese. Then I'm gonna put some um, tomato. Whoops, we forgot about that tic over fold, there. So I fold like this, that's what Maria does. I fold like this, and then I twist it. I have to tell you guys, it's hard. It's not easy. Oh, oh my God, let this be a turning point where she starts liking being in the videos more. Uh, nah. Ciao uh, Calabria, nah. anchovies and olives are the best. Yep, I just grabbed the olives. Oops, we forgot to turn. Look, 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 look. Look, Susan, I turned it. Look. You do it like a um, like a magician. Like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and you put some more. Which is, I can't believe you haven't tried one yet. No, you, you don't have to do that. Hmm. Does it look okay? 
Should be perfect. Okay. And now I can fry it. Ready? Can I put it in? Yeah. Oh, the oil is so nice. Okay, now let's try this one. Okay. Is this the one with the cheese inside? Um, no, that's the anchovy and basil. Ah, uh, no, it is the cheese. Look. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, yum! Let me do it. Hang on. Let me show uh, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah, everyone can see perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. Mm. The problem is once you start eating them, you don't want to stop. <laughs> oh my God. Not such a bad thing. Once but... you fry them, they're okay for about 24 hours, I would say. Even yeah. today, it should be okay, yeah. Look, you, you, can, always, them up in the microwave. you can always heat them up in the oven. It's better in the oven. Mm. If you heat them up from in the microwave, they, go, they soften a little bit. However, they're obviously always better when you take them out. I'll show you what I'm doing over here. When you take mm. them out, and then beautiful and fresh, like he absolute heaven. How's that, Vincenzo? So what was in that one that you ate? The, was that the caprese? No. Which one? What did Cheese, I put in there? <laughs> I don't even remember. And basil. Oh, I forgot that I did that one. Sensational. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't love anchovies, you will love this. Yeah, Honestly, that's exactly what we just did, Lou. This is Cheese the best, anchovies. This is the best Easter treat that you can get. Show okay, us your okay, dad's olives. about the oh, chocolate yeah. um, eggs? Oh gosh, no. This is although, what you Easter. Mm. Although I have to say, I'm going to come around so we can make some because mm. this mm -hmm. dough. What happened? The funniest thing about Tip. Are you in there behind me? The funniest I'm thing. Okay. So the funniest thing about Tipoli dough is it keeps growing. So it's a good idea once you start making them to make all of them um, and get your family in to help. Um, whoever's in the house. If you're making them just for two. You can probably substitute most of the recipe with just, um, you still want to make about half a kilo of flour. I mean, you can make savory ones, which we'll do um, shortly as well. But I want to try, because it was a great idea, to use olives in the mix. Oh my God, Lisa so, de Berlis asked you a great question. Yes. What about Nutella? <laughs> oh my gosh, do, want, do we have any Nutella? Should we make yeah, some Yeah, I've got some downstairs. <laughs> we can make Nutella. So I'm going to do a special one now with olives. I'm going to put an anchovy in there. I'm actually, I'm going to put cheese in the middle. This is great. This is going to be a cheeky These one. are homemade calabrese oh, wow. olives, guys. Schiacciati. Don't put um, too, too much cheese. The cheese will melt and spread on its own. If you put a lot, it will probably come out. It'll probably burst out of the, mm, of the, um, of the dough. So just be careful. But I'm going to put, I've got the olives, which are dad's. So they're the traditional calabrese way of making the green olives as well. Um, then I'm going to put an anchovy on top. Oh my god, this is the bomb, a bomb of happiness. Whoops, that's two anchovies, just one. Mm, what do you guys say about this, huh? Robert said, it. open a drive through Zeppoli bar <laughs> <laughs> at the front. <laughs> Suzanne, we have Felicia watching from Woodbridge, Canada. Can you oh, believe wow. it? Oh, wow, hi. And Jean, Jean said she wore a vecchio maro del capo, compa. <laughs> Sicuramente. Whoop. I put quite a lot in there, um, so... Make sure the dough covers everything as much as you can. We also have lots of comments on Instagram. On ju one just wrote, oh, finally, Suzanne beginning to get excited <laughs> about jumping into the videos. Well, oh, I, yes. I love Hello, what Pia. Vincenzo does. I'm just, I don't love the camera in front of me. It makes me very nervous. I have a question here on Instagram. Look, look, see how can you dip in them in marinara sauce? Oh, you mean like a dipping after yeah. you them? Absolutely. Why not? We have friends. Had it like that but you certainly could. Friends on YouTube are saying, dip it in extra olive oil. Hmm. There's a lot of oil in it. I pr oh, this one's not... Um, Grazie, thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Debra. There's a lot of olive oil in there. I probably wouldn't re-dip it again. Um, it just doesn't, probably doesn't need it. Guys, can you believe Suzanne never been yeah. in a video and now she's in three videos. We are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, and we are on Instagram. Can you believe it? She's not on one, in one video, but in three. <laughs> Like it's out of easy. duress and out of being pregnant and craving tipoli. Can you please I don't make... want to wait for my tipoli. What's your request? <laughs> Can you make the sweet one, please? Sure. We've got raisins um, there. Sure. So put okay. some raisins. So I'm going to... Oh, do we have... You know what else I might put? After Be creative. We put some of the cinnamon on top. Can you put strawberry inside? I need some um, honey to dip it in, though. I've got the honey there, right in front of you. I have to dip it inside after it's cooked. Yeah, you can it's do it. Oh, like deep. Drizzle or, or I can it's there. I've got, a gla I've got a spoon already inside. I'll drizzle, I'll drizzle. So what do you do? So I think what I'll do is I'm going to put some raisins in this one, or sultanas. Yeah. Just a couple of those. Uh, just throughout it. You can probably do the whole dough with it if you're going to make sweet ones. Um, and well, you I'm spread just... it like that. Yeah. Mm, oh, I, I want more. It. Put more inside. Uh -huh. I want more. Sorry. Okay. I'm a big boy. 
You can put chocolate chips in it maybe. I've never tried, but I'm sure you could. Is that enough? Yeah, you I think so. Yeah, one more. more. Oops, <laughs> fell out. Runaway sunshine. Yes. All right, and then you twist. Well, I wanted it all to stay on the inside, so let's see if I can make that happen. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to grab, quickly grab another plate. Felicia said, you, she is a natural oh, in front yeah. of the camera. <laughs> and Tony said, Nutella. From Montreal, Maria Venditti on Facebook, watching from Montreal. Okay, let's put it back in there. Oh, look at the cheese is coming out of this one, Suzanne. Oh, who made that one? Was that me? Mm, there's a chance I did it. <laughs> I can take, take the blame. The Abruzzese, we, are, we, are, we have a lot of big shoulders. Okay? I can be blamed. <laughs> Here we go. The cheese is coming out. And now, what, do we, what are you doing now? Yeah. Well, I'm going to put the one that's set. Which one was the sweet one? Is it the only one in there or is no, there two? Suzanne, good question. On YouTube, with Mike, he asked, yeah, yeah. Um, Deborah said, brava Suzanne. Thanks, now Deborah. Mike said, what's the difference between a beignet, beignet and zeppole? Uh, it's completely, oh, well, the, okay, so the zeppole from St. Joseph's Day have similarities to a beignet, don't they? Yeah, it's a pastry, basically, yeah, beignet, a, and then you yeah. have to fill, um, and you fill, fill it, exactly. with custard Whereas or chocolate. Whereas in this way is a savoury zeppole originally from Calabria, from down south. Um, down south of Italy, and it's com it's a completely different texture and a completely different process of making it. The ingredients are also different. So you make it with um, all savoury, and the impasto, the dough, is um, also rested differently. Mm. So it doesn't come as, uh, what's the word? Like, the beignet are more, almost a little bit more empty, so they're a little bit more shallow. Yes, they are. I'm not sure how to explain it. Whereas these typically are quite, they're quite, you saw when we opened it. I'll open one, another one in a minute. Hey, Frederick said, hello, Suzanne Vincenzo. Suzanne, hello. lots of comments about you oh, on man. Instagram, YouTube, and okay. Facebook. Everyone is saying, Suzanne is so good on the camera. <laughs> Stay in front of the camera. No. I feel like it's not about me anymore. <laughs> it's going to be called Suzanne's plate. People don't want to see me. No. People want to oh, see I, you. I want to see you. Everybody wants to see you, Suzanne, on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Well, Can you please write a good comment to Suzanne? I'll assure you of one thing. Um, I'm not going to be watching this back. So, because <laughs> oh. I get very nervous and I don't like, um, yeah, I just. You like your mum, Suzanne. Like Maria is very good in front of the camera. She, we have a great Amaretti recipe on YouTube, done with Maria. Also, there's Thank good. Your mum's wonderful. This is a special one with um, Caprese with an olive. Oh, oh, which one is the sweet one now? I forgot. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, can we eat one of these? Yeah, please. Things? I want to see inside. I want to show you which one. Look, uh, that's my cheesy one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, that's, it's still quite hot actually. They do say hot for quite Are you ready for the Ooh, cheese? This is this is food oh. porn, guys. Are you ready for the food porn? Okay, ready? One. Two. Oh, it's hot. Two. Whoops. See, I've done a good job. Look at me. Look what I did. Whoops. Oh, Look what hot. I did. Look at the cheese melting. Look at the cheese. Oh my wow, wow, wow. Yum. That's what we that's want. It's very hot. Oh, see, and the, so with this piece, Vincenzo has, was worried this morning. It's good to use cherry tomatoes. Oh, they're very hot. It's good to use cherry tomatoes when you're doing the caprese. They don't have quite as much juice if they're still that little bit firm. But this tomato, Vincenzo was worried, might be watery. But look what's happened inside. It's perfect. So it's nice when dough. you put the ingredients in, make sure it's really nicely enclosed. So just if, you, if you're worried, add a little bit of extra dough around it right. and then you'll be safe. And that's what happens. None of it's wet at all. It's actually really lovely. So then when you bite into it, you've still got that beautiful, juicy, plump tomato, and it hasn't actually wet any of the outside. Right. That's also why you use the potato. Um, it's said that it keeps a lot of the oil out, but we don't find, honestly, I'm going to show you. Let me show you this. This dough. We don't find that with the dough. If you have a look, maybe this, oh, this piece is better. If you have a look at that, none of that's got any of the oil on it. So it actually stays out quite nicely. It doesn't come in at all. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look, ready? Look at this. Look. this is, it is good. Check that dough out. I'm it so proud dough. of us. Well, I think I did a good job. Well, you did, yeah. Mm. You did, did more of the dough than me. But, but, I, but I've been cooking them. Everyone likes you, Basu Zen. Everyone wants you. But hey, people are asking, Lisa said, what about spinach? Mm. And what about yeah. using fresh fruit? That's a good question. Can we use fresh fruit? That's what Deborah said on YouTube. She wants, to, she wants to put fresh fruit inside, I guess, and then drizzle uh, honey. Yum. Yeah. Mm, you know what might be nice? 
fruit that isn't again as wet in texture. So blueberries, um, raspberries, strawberries. So I mean, it cooks inside and kind of melt in the dough. Well, you could use when you banana. Fry it. You could probably use banana Ooh. once you take it out. And we'll do this if we figure out which one the raisin one is. <laughs> Um, you drizzle the honey all over it, add a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of sugar. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make that. Let me get the ingredients. Oh, you convinced Suzanne. Suzanne is excited. Oh yeah. I'm not sure I can do the, the let's do this, the sultana one. Let's do, no, let's do the banana one. Well, I've got, Stro oh, we've got strawberries. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, so I want you yeah, to no, know, I want to let me answer to the question. Oh, I want to see the three of you cooking. The baby's yeah. coming out in August. And then we have the baby cooking, well, you're, don't you're worry. You're helping me feed the baby now. So oh, I'm yeah. going to keep eating while I'm helping. And let me tell you, I'm going to make baby food inside the house. We have a few blenders. I'm not going to buy any food from the shop. Everything will be all made for the baby. I want my baby to eat good food from the beginning. I will never allow my kid oh my to go to any junk, uh, junk food places. Everything is all made. I can't even talk about how delicious that dough was. Just with fresh basil. Look at that. I can't talk about it. Just what so you need that. What are you doing okay. now? I'm getting the sugar and the um, cinnamon. We got my friend Dan Palmieri watching from uh, Pittsburgh. Hi Dan. Ciao. He said Suzanne's plate. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the Sultana one yet? Uh, actually, I don't know which one it is, Suzanne. Oh. Is the oil a bit down? Maybe put it up yeah. a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Just a little bit. I can't see. Hang on. Go the other way. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, it's a bit too much. Put it oh, down a little much. bit. There? A little bit more. Down. Down. Go back up. There? Mm, it's a bit tricky this one. Here, let's do it. For, this is a camping one. Perfect. Okay. It's easier to film uh, on this side, so that's why I'm using this. Uh, the, we, we do have a proper kitchen, guys, but we use this because it's easier to film. So we don't have to move around too much. So, Suzanne, which one are you having now? I'm so sorry, I'm just eating. You're making the strawberry I've one? I've gotten very distracted. Strawberry, strawberry. <laughs> Um, where are our strawberries going? Uh, they're in oh, the living on, room. Hang on. In the living room. Do you want to do this one? I have to have this. Oh, do you want me to make it? Okay. Wow, Suzanne wants me back in the video now. Okay. Yay. Well, I, I actually think we should probably keep cooking. Back in the video. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> but when we find that raisin one, I might dress it like I wanted to with the cinnamon and honey. I'll show you and sugar. I'll show you. I will make a modern uh, sweet calabrese. Zipla. You ready? All right. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I have to tell you all these great ideas. Rebecca Palamadas just said they put solid Easter eggs in them. Um, and then when the, when they, when you make them, the chocolate then melts and oozes out when you open it. Delicious. Catherine oh. puts raspberry, raspberry jam. So it just becomes like a jam donut. I like these ideas. You could put apple in them and then dip into fresh cream, like an apple of course, pie. Of course, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm, I'm going to do this now. You tell me, tell me what you think. I'm going to do some, I've got some blueberries. Hey, Suzanne. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put blueberries, strawberry, and sultana. I honest, okay. Look, you do you. I reckon everybody does their own version. I don't know, no, 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 let's just do it. Yeah. What do you guys think? Well, why strawberry. Not? We might as well try different things. So when I say strawberry, don't put the whole thing inside, okay? I'm assuming... You no, no, no chop it up. up. Yeah. So we chop it up as small as possible, I would say, because you don't want to have chunks. So. Okay, I'm going to do some this is close ups. Big. Let's make it a bit smaller. So what about green. banana and Nutella? That sounds delicious. All right, but I actually have to ah, go in the garlic. That's amazing. Nutella. Can I please tell you what Maria just said she does? What she do? She puts bacala in them. Oh my God. That's you, that is, and that is, do you know what? So they creative. simply are such a beautiful tradition to make on um, Good Friday. Yes. So that's beautiful to do it with it seafood. Is, uh, bacala is cod. You know, if we have any Portuguese friends, you know, they love uh, bacala too. Brie okay, cheese with berry. Cocktail Franks like Dagwood dogs. No! What are dogs? No. Dogs, Someone's dogs. being cheeky and his name is Mr. Italian Guy. Mr. Italian Guy, no junk food in my house and we don't talk about junk food on these <laughs> platforms. Okay? If you guys go to McDonald's, you're not allowed to watch. <laughs> Here we only eat good food for real people. Frederick's now, hungry again in bed, the poor thing. Hello, man. Frederick. He's, what's, the, what's the time now? 4 a.m. in Switzerland, uh, Frederick. Here, I put some strawberries. I put some raspberries. 
Uh, this, I've never done this before, but I think it's gonna work. Yeah, don't put too many ingredients. Don't, don't fill it up too much, darling, because no. it pops. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just. <gasps> a touch of muscadpone with the strawberry and a pinch of sugar. Well, we no, do have muscadpone, but I reckon we, it's nice to dip it in. I've on. just got to turn these sip So let's try and so do it. So I'm just going to show you. Mm, yummy. You turn them. So what I do now. And I'm going to leave you here with Vincenzo. I fold this. I guess it's the only way to do it. Yeah, but and then keep twisting. So I close and then I twist from the inside like this. Twist, twist, twist. And do the movement. Move, move your body. <laughs> so you twist, get a bit of exercise done twist. in isolation. That's how we do that. That's the exercise. Twist, twist. And then we have it. Oh, see? It's coming out on the side here. Yeah, you've got to cover it up. You don't want to have any holes. Big thanks again to our cousin, Cugina Maria. Absolutely. And, and here we have it. Now, can I fry this? You sure can. Hopefully we'll we take, can re recognize it. Okay, so Zuni's taking out the other ones. Are you guys having fun? Are you enjoying this? We want to do this every year. We want to have today as the International Tsipoli Day. I think it's going to be such a great thing to do with everyone. And we can keep traditions alive. Okay? There are so many beautiful traditions in Italian culture. Or everywhere in the world, you know? So keep the traditions alive. Can I fry now? Well, you you sure want to make can. more of the same? Oh, so apparently in northern Italy they mix the bacala into the dough. That's so interesting. Oh. Never heard of this well, before. Well, if we think about it, how are okay, we going to know which in ones? In the region of Veneto, they do bac bacala mantecato, which is like a mousse of cod, bacala. So why don't add a little bit more flour? Is you can make the dough the same. Oh my gosh, the funniest it thing just sense. happened. What? So Vincenzo's was so heavy, it wouldn't rise back to the top because it had so much filling uh, in it. Do you see how strawberries <laughs> I put? I put a strawberry. A few, about five uh, blueberries and a lot of um, uh, sultanas. <laughs> come in the video today. Oh, you want me to come over to you? Yeah. Oh, you want me to come over there? Oh, well, I'm a bit. I just want to read it. Can I read a couple more comments? Yes. Rosemary said her mouth is watering. Jeannie said, What about Nutella and marshmallow? Um, Vincenzo, uh, sorry, Brian said he's very proud of his Sicilian heritage. He's in the USA as well. Well, Sicilians make the best sweets on the planet. And See? you know, as you know, guys, I'm a great arancini maker. Yeah, tell me, Suzanne. I don't know which one has the raisins. All right, let's open all of them. Well, and if you don't want to cover, oh, I don't just cover it up. No, I just eat all of them. <laughs> that one I think was too big. I think maybe it's this one. Why don't you cut it in half and see? I mean, we're going to make more. Okay. Look how many more we have just for the two of us. This one just came out, so it's super hot. Cut it with a knife. Well, it's so much more fun cutting Yeah, you're right, actually. Make sure you don't burn your hands and be careful for the baby. Oh, it was very hot. Okay, sorry. I'm telling marshmallow. Hey, Silvia Pancera, come stai, Silvia? So much fun watching you too. Look, Silvia, Susan is in the video. Can you, can you believe it? Suzanne's played one uh, three or five six on Instagram. Said Suzanne's played. Oh, this one's the one with the olives. Oh, yeah, Look that's the that. one with the olive. So that's got olive, anchovy, and the cheese. Oh, and it's very hot. Of course, it's hot. Oh. What about the other one? Um, they are the ones I think we made first. You know what, Suzanne? You're right. I think it's nicer to cut it with your hands. But it cut, cut it with a knife. These are right? okay. These are not. Okay, these okay. Ones. <laughs> So, it's just more fun. But to look how yummy there. this comes. So listen, listen. I don't know if you can hear over the crackling of the oil. Can you hear that? It's like a little, it's like a little banino. Yeah. That's a um, <laughs> Hey, we couldn't have planned that. I love it. Nice little cheese drizzle. Friend Carol on Instagram said, um, if you still have figs, you can use figs. Mm. We do have figs in the fridge. Mm. We I have do. figs. And uh, Silvia said, she, you're beautiful. Okay. Silvia Pangera. Ciao, Silvia. And Catherine Ciao, said, Silvia. she's inspired to make that. Buona Pasqua to you. Oh, we have a good. comment on YouTube. Brian, Brian Flauto. Vincenzo, so proud of my Sicilian heritage. Bravo. Every year we have to do this. And That's Deborah, good. I'm going to show you how to make arancini. Bless you guys. Bless everyone. You're good, Suzanne. You're good. Well, I think you forgot about the frame. So... This or this? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying a lot of that. I'm, I'm <laughs> I was like, hi, what, who's Vincenzo waving to? Um, this is Vincenzo's big one. So see what happens when you put a little Ooh. bit too much. It's okay because it'll. It, you can see it's, it'll just fry around it. There's a little bit too much filling. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just that you don't want the oil to go mm. on the inside. So what oh. I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to help it cook. 
my it is my fault. Down. I'm not cut up breast enough yet. But it's okay. This soup helps cook it a little bit faster, and then I can take it out and a little bit less oil. Oh, Sylvia said you might not be able to do this next year <laughs> because of the baby. <laughs> We might have, um, I think if, if Vincenzo's anything to go by, the baby will be helping us. For sure, the baby even, will even always be next to us. <laughs> Diana, brava, Diana Cucinotta on Facebook asked okay. me, can you make arancini live? That's in the plan. We're doing arancini soon. I might take that one out. So it actually looks quite Stop. cute with the blueberry popping out. You should your belly again. Look how beautiful <laughs> this belly is. It's beautiful belly here. And we're going to guess that this one... Just maybe turn that off for a little bit, hey? Yeah, turn it off. Let's have a little rest. We've got plenty of... Um, and I want to see, I see think blueberry. that's a little raisin on the end just there. Yeah. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to guess that it's the same. Oh, it's very hot. Do you think it's that one or this one? I think it's this one. Just open all of them. We're, gonna, we're, we're not going to anyway. open it. We're going to cover it. <laughs> Oh. With the honey and everything, because I still need it to be warm. I hope it is. I still want Do you it to put be as in sugar or just um, no, no, I don't need it. So I'm putting um, the cinnamon, which I have to open. So, thank you. This is exciting. It's actually nice. I'm getting very delicious. excited. All right, this is just this just had the sultana, so I'm going to. I hope it's got the sultana. Or it's yes. Be very funny tasting. Yes. Yeah. So you drizzle it just like that. Yes. Yummies. Yeah, yes. And this honey is gorgeous. It's um, beautiful raw honey from one of our lovely clients at the markets. Cinnamon. Oh, a rosemary that from Facebook. That was probably Facebook. a bit too much. Rosemary from, <laughs> rosemary from Facebook said, yes, let's declare 9th of April, Zeppole Day. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Joanne said, Ooh, put some prosciutto and cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I'm pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully the raisins are inside this one. If they're not... Probably not to be recommended, <laughs> um, but that's how, how you do it. So it, it's nice to do it when, even though honey sticks on everything, um, sorry, everything sticks to honey, it's obviously nice to put the sugar and the cinnamon while it's still hot because that will make it stick just a little bit extra with the honey. Yes. So now we're going to make Vincenzo try Fred tired. said, is this for him? This is, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a nice little midnight. Well, it's past midnight. It's four o'clock in the morning in Switzerland. <laughs> um, but we're going to hope, for, hope that this is the raisin one and I want Vincenzo to try it. So he's going to come okay. around. Let's, uh, let's serve it. And try it. Let's serve this one. We have it together. It's a romantic. I hope it's the right, sultana one. one. <laughs> if it's not the sultana <laughs> one, I'm not trying it. the video if it's not sultana. <laughs> it's the sultana. <Yeah. laughs> Thank really God. Nervous. Can you imagine having anchovies and honey? <laughs> I was <laughs> really nervous. You bite right. this part because that's yummy. You can, dip, you can dip it in a little bit of extra honey hot? too. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thank you. It's edible. Mm, nice flavors. I've never made a sweet one before. My family traditionally mm, makes them mm. savory. So this is super new for me. I mm. have tasted them. Um, how is it? Mm. Anything I have to say, we're using an homemade Australian um, honey. Makes a difference. From Barrow. Mm. Makes a difference. Look at the dough. The dough is so moist inside, but it's so crunchy on the outside. And that sultana. Mm. It came nice. And there was enough sultana. And there was definitely enough cinnamon. Enough sultana. Actually, it's cinnamon, yeah. <laughs> Probably too much cinnamon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna take a bite and then wash my hands, and you're gonna keep going. Am I? Mm. I was gonna say what. It's gonna be a Tripoli day today. Oh my god. Let's share this with everyone, please. Let's turn the 9th of April into the Zippoli International Zippoli Day. I'm not let's do this every year. Uh, you can do this every weekend, to be honest, but let's make it today but, a special day. And also, we've been talking about how so many more people are in the kitchens now, enjoying cooking again with their family that they live with, um, cooking online. We've been we've phoned Nonna a couple of times, and she's helped us with recipes online. Yeah. Do that. You know, there's still ways to interact with your yeah. family and friends. But the most important thing is to, in, in doing that, hold on to these traditions, you know, um, especially at times like times at a time of year like this where you can't mm. actually be physically close to your family. It's obviously hard for everybody. So find new ways of being close. Um, and this definitely brings us close to, 100%. to I guess, when mine and me were all with us as 100%. well. Um, and we used to make these quite a lot. We don't get the chance anymore. So hopefully this will be a tradition. And next year, all of us can be together physically as a family. And do it together. But I'm going to be making them. Oh, well, yeah. I, it's I'm, the same I'm, if you're already I'm, a queen, the gnocchi queen. You want to be the Tripoli queen Well, too? I might be feeding the baby. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe someone can feed me. 
But thanks for watching. But I want to um, say one more thing, I'll, guys. I'll, should Honestly, I read some last comments? Yeah, read some last comments. I just want to say the last things before we go, and I have to eat this. Um, just please remember that this is the time where you can really call your grandparents, your parents, learn how to cook recipes. When I, when I say traditional recipes, is this a recipe that have been around for generations and generations? They've been tested and tested and tested. They are right, they are great, and you will never get sick of them. So stay away from all these new recipes that people are creating. Okay, yes, you need to be creative and create new recipes, but guys, if you don't have knowledge of tradition, if you don't know much about your traditional cuisine and these beautiful traditional recipes, you can't really create more than the, you know, before get a knowledge of the basic, of your traditional comfort food. And then you can come up with new ideas, with new recipes. So lots of thank yous for keeping the traditions alive. You've got uh, eight seconds left on Instagram. Uh, ben, we're going to say goodbye to Bye, our Instagram okay. friends first. Pictured both eating at Lady and the Tramp style from the ends. That's a good idea. We'll do it next time. Bye, guys. Bye, Instagram. Say bye to you Instagram. Do the still alive. So I'll share that to the story. still live. Um, yes, yeah, so we're still. So I'll read a few last comments from. We've got some comments here on Facebook. My dear mm. used to make chocolate ones for the kids, said Mary. That sounds delicious. We're going to. I think you can mm. just experiment. Um, I love how excited you get to be eating these. I'd be excited too. Honestly, Lisa, mm. make them. Make a small batch if you want. If you don't have an opportunity to make anything bigger or you don't have a lot of flour, it is worth it. Chili, black olives, dried oregano and anchovies. Sounds delicious. Um, and hi, Vincenzo and Suzanne. Hi, Karen. Lisa said Bonapasqua. After all this, I have to come to Sydney for your food, Vincenzo, said Deborah Lee. Hi, Deborah. Oh, maybe My mother's cooking Suzanne. tradition is to burn things. I love cooking, especially Italian. Cooking is fun. Mary wishes us a safe and happy Easter. Thank you, everyone. Apparently, Serbians call something similar to this. I'm not going to – I'm not sure if I'll pronounce this right. Ustipici? Ustipici? Yeah. No, Ustipci as Zeppoli. But don't forget, Serbia, you know, the Adriatic separates us. And in the history, we used to be all one. Like, I'm from Abruzzo. And in our blood, in our DNA, we are Balkan as well. So some people believe I'm Serbian or Croatian because historically we were all together mixed and we do have some very similar recipes. Sylvia said, I know a nonna that does cooking lessons like this with her grandson. And Lisa said, happy Easter. Mary said, thanks for keeping the traditions alive. And you. Frederick said, happy Easter to you too, Suzanne and Vincenzo, and to everyone. Thank you, Frederick. Phil said, happy Easter. Everyone's saying thank you. Lisa's suggesting chocolate and whipped cream. Yeah, um, and Nutella. I'm making banana Nutella now. And Emily said um, that she agrees. A lot of traditions stop these days. Good to keep them going. Maria's just double-checking how much yeast. Oh, you're so cute, Catherine. I wish I was your neighbor. <laughs> one kilo of flour, which is 35 ounces of flour. And you use one sachet of yeast, which is seven which is, grams. Yeah, it's about seven, grams, seven grams. Yeah. Thank you, you so much for making yeast. Zeppoli. I'm making sweet ones. Enjoy, Marina De Santis. Enjoy. Oh, Enjoy. my goodness, the crunch. And Hi, from thing. New York. Hi, Sabi. At the moment, it is difficult to find yeast. Order it online. Okay? I go yeah, to the shop true, yeah. at night when they replenish the, replenish. the, replenish the <laughs> shelves. I go at night, at 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, and I found flour, you can find the yeast. If not, order it online, it gets delivered to you. Well, everyone is saying a very happy Easter. Everyone loves Italians. Can't wait till the next cooking lesson. And Lou Torisi said, happy Easter. Buona Pasqua, Great ragazzi. meeting you at the festival with Concetta. Oh, at the oh, um, Nordic Street Festival. Grazie. Yeah, ciao. Buona Pasqua, guys. Happy Easter, when is everyone. Your, when is your due date? <laughs> Sabi, um, August the 3rd. So Happy. we've got a little bit of time and a lot more Zeppoli. Happy Happy. Easter to you all. Please share with us online all Come of your... Come in the video. Come and say goodbye to everyone. Please share all of your um, beautiful traditional dishes with us, um, Italian or not. If they're Italian um, and they're from Abruzzo or Calabria, hopefully we know them. And if they're not, we'd like to learn something new. So share them and hopefully that means we can do a lot more um, recipes. Maybe together. We'll see how I'm feeling. The banana um, bread queen and the gnocchi queen. <laughs> But does this mean I have to clean up or are you cleaning up? Oh, well, I guess <laughs> if I film you, I clean up, you just cook. Okay, That's well, the deal. well, you can go over there then and film. That's the deal. <laughs> We've got lots more tipoli to make. Look at all this beautiful dough. We're going to finish making this now. We'll drop some off to our neighbours. Uh, first, we might eat the rest of what we've got. Oh, yeah. Because they're just delicious. I've got this week. I'm going to eat this again. Yeah, that's Thank good. you, guys. Thanks, guys. Um, have a lovely Easter. I know it's tricky for everyone this year, but um, stay connected online. Get on the phone to your loved ones. Tell them how much you care and eat some beautiful traditional food. Mwah. Do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to 
end the video. Bye, bye guys. Evan, never in my mouth. Say bye to YouTube. Try YouTube, buona Pasqua.